Hello again everyone, we are Gaming by Gaslight, and welcome back to EU4 as Better Mexico. When we last left off, we were in the middle of our massive war here. I, uh, I was a bit concerned this was going to take forever, so I, I did, as you can see here, skip ahead a bit of time just to make sure I had cleaned things up here and had everything nice and orderly so that I could focus on fewer fronts and keep, uh, the pacing going. As we can see here, we've pretty much taken all of this. Molly has... Some of these I took and I've switched them over to Mali because these are like Mali's core provinces. So I figure if Mali decides to peace out early, they'll hopefully try to take their cores back. In the meanwhile, I've also, uh, I pieced out the Pope Man while off camera and we're just about to peace off Ferrara, hopefully. And as you can see here, I have landed on the Iberian Peninsula, which I believe last episode I talked about doing because I want to get a lot of stuff from Castile here. So if we take even just a couple of things here, there we go, now it gets rid of... Rara, which is good. We've taken Foxburg back, and I do still have in backlog a couple of names. Where are you going? Who dare siege back my land? Land that rightfully belongs to me. Sir. You cad. Alright, so... I actually don't think I'm likely going to take anything from France in this war. The big thing I want to do is try breaking up this big triple coalition so we can have more efficient wars where I'm just taking on one at a time. I can take them all on, but I feel it's more efficient if we ha take them individually. Anyway, I'm also trying to siege out some stuff here, as you can see. Ah, yes. Castile has, in a desperate last-ditch move, sent their troops over here to try taking my land. Trying to reclaim my capital, which I took from the French, I believe, at the end of last war. I'm hoping that we manage to take it first. I also should probably get as many of these guys off here as possible, so because as you can see, we're out of manpower, so I really don't want too much in the way of unnecessary overextension. I should probably take up to Toledo, if I can. And more stuff is coming under my control. We'll, uh... Oh, wait. That is under my control already. Anyway, let's take this. Where are you going, sir? Mahican. So we'll crush, kill, destroy you. And I guess just sit up here for now. And we'll go there. We're probably going to be seeing some peasant uprisings shortly. Still a little concerned about this. I don't really need these mercs anymore. So I'm going to get rid of most of them. I forget whether I hired these guys on camera or not, but the idea, of course, was just to make sure we had enough men to fight off the French, who actually it looks like I took care of them. I probably went a bit too far in doing some off-camera stuff. I just wanted to make sure that the flow of things were was going all right. Uh, speaking of the flow of things, another important thing I feel like mentioning is I noticed that in some of my last few recordings, my voice has been a bit off, uh, cutting out and everything, and also there has been some issues with, um, I don't know. I don't see it when I'm playing, but I notice it when I'm watching back the footage, there's like some framey, flickery-ness. I'm playing around with my new recording software. It's OBS I'm using, in case you're curious. Uh, these guys are good. Actually, I might as well go in here, which should help. Actually, wait, the port of Granada is right there, so it's in the Gibraltar thing. So it's, it should be good here, is where I'm getting at. There's also a 35k stack there. We've taken some more land. Stuff is under the control of Better Mexico. I am happy. And we can actually tech up. We are ahead. Oh! Client states. That's useful, but I don't think we're going to need it. I, the advanced Casus Belli will be useful, but I don't think we're ever going to need client states in this particular game because our objective involves directly taking all land for ourselves. Oh, well, crap. I really do need to build a fort on my capital. Because they appear to be having better luck than I am. Actually, it occurs to me, even taking just some of this... Uh, no. 22. All right, let's see. How much can I take right now? I want to try getting the entire coastline. Because after that, I don't really... I don't really care that much. Yeah. We're going to have to take some more land. Now, important thing to note. 
This, yeah, well, Castile's actually involved in several different wars. They're at war with Aragon, Tuscany, Hungary. What, what is this war? Aragon Reconquest. So that's good, actually. Their armies are distracted, it would seem. Hopefully Aragon's actually able to fight back here. Somewhere, oh yeah, the Ottomans are also at war, which uh, they're at war with uh, Portugal and France, as I recall, yeah, with Austria and some of these other guys. Also, a hilarious thing, over here in Australia somewhere, while I was just panning around before we started recording, somewhere around here is a Ottoman navy. Which appears to be gone now. But trust me, there was one, and I found it hilarious that the Ottomans were buzzing around out here. Portugal would like to peace out, but that's just not going to happen. Um, Mr. France... Yeah, they're, they're not willing to peace out yet, but they should be shortly, if I had to guess. Hopefully. Hopefully I can take this before Castile takes my capital. Oh wait, there's Castile. What just happened? What just happened? They're, they're landing more troops here. Egg Nem- That is very, very, very unfortunate for me. What are you willing to give me? That's a lot of stuff. I shall decline it, sir. I want all your land. And I'm not done taking stuff from you. Though they are low. Hmm. I also see there is a stack of French troops here that might be interested in having me crush them. Yes. All right, let's uh, do some of that. Castile has taken my capital. They gave it to Portugal, so I'll just have to siege that back. By the by. Where are you going? Oneida. All right, let's go to Oneida instead. We're going to have a river crossing, but we should beat them. Hopefully, that might be enough to convince the French to leave me alone. We're going to have to go to war with the French directly at some later date. I mean, I can be individually piecing all these guys out and stuff, but I don't know. This war has been... Then again, eh, might as well make this a great big old war. Come on, hurry up. I swear, the la... What's this? Lose power. No, screw that. Oh, good. Was that enough to change their mind? Not quite. And I actually... No, I can't quite get my way up there. If I actually, then again, one second here. If I can get permission to go through their land, which they are willing to give me. Are you kidding me? Stupid fort. Anyway, um, yeah, I guess I'll just. I'll just keep making my way through here, as long as these guys don't come after me. I should be able to get a lot from the Castilians in this war. Are they coming back up? They are. Which is actually good. Possibly. So I should be able to crush them in a very, very fashionable manner. Alright, let's, um, this is probably a bad idea. If we're being honest here. Nantioke. Should I attack that? The answer, I think, is yes. We don't, we don't want the two stacks combining. And if we can avoid it... Where are you going? Delaware. Alright, make your way to Delaware, then. Assiniboine. Okay, we can go to war for them now. Where are you going this time? Unami. Alright. Fine, we'll fight you, we'll fight you in Unami. Take that, Castile. Excellent, we've gained some population. Stuff is under the control of better Mexico. It'd be nice to take Prince Edward Island, to be honest. Which is called Il St. Jean. That's cool. Instead of Prince Edward Island. Alright. Probably not going to take anything from Castile's mainland, just because, unlike uh, unlike Castile, Portugal has spent a lot of money on beefing up their mainland provinces, so 
don't really want to touch any of that because that'll just take me a hundred million years to actually get anything going here. Oh, what's this? Gain more base tax because why would I not want base tax? Where are you going? Muncie. Assuming you stop there, that's where I'm going to crush you. And uh, let's see here. Let's make friends with somebody. Oh, look at that. I didn't notice this, but Mombasa took land from... Should I try taking this from Portugal? If I can... Oh, what's this? France wants to white piece me. Sure, why not, France? I mean, that gets, that gets me out of the war with France, which is good for now. Because they have their own problems, and it also saves me from any... Where are you going? Undaga. Where the heck are you going? Well, that's confusing. No, Castile, I am not done with you yet. Uh, also, Baluchistan, would you like to be my friend? I'll just uh, send some guy to schmooze it up with you. And back to the Iberian Peninsula. We'll just kind of sit here for a while. I'm not overly concerned with anything. I probably should be about that 20 stack of uh, French guys who are on their way over here. Okay, we've got some natives rising up. Or not French guys, Castilians. Where are those Castilians? Oh, they're sitting right there trying to siege my stuff out. All right, everyone, everyone meet up. Actually, we'll all meet up over here. In Manhattan. Manhattan's a nice place to visit. I should consider sending my army over there just to crush, kill, destroy. That's always fun. You know what? I will. No, no, I'll, I'll keep him over here. Should I? Yeah, I should. I'll let him repair a little bit first. Alright. Stuff has come under the control of Castile. Castile's gonna get wrecked because they have their pretty much their entire military force over here. Same with the French. They invested... This is basically the same problem that actually did happen to the Europeans in real life history, is they overinvested in the colonial game. Nice. And what ended up happening is they weren't able to deal with some of the stuff back home. There's a lot of Castilians, which mildly concerns me. Throw off uh, Portugal, I'm not done with you yet. Can we uh, hurry up and finish this, please? Whoa. They gain in- oh my god. Uh, there is no benefit to me doing this, so screw you. Screw you, merchant guilds. Oh, you'll get over it. Here, have a monopoly charter. Why not? When can I do this again? In 95. So 10 years. Okay, hurry up. Boop, 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 boop. Oh, what's this? A fight happened. Oh god, the Castilians are attacking me. Oh god, they're winning? How are they beating me so badly? Uh, they have less morale, slightly more discipline though. Why is my discipline lower? And they have slightly higher tactics. Oh, plus also a lot of my guys, because we have no manpower. Dang. Okay, this is gonna suck. Please don't be a stack wipe. What? Our colony is struck with Roman fever? Can't have that. Oh, damn. Well, it wasn't a stack wipe, so I'm happy, mostly. Um, can we hurry up and... Oh my god. 70%? Are you kidding me? In a level 2 fort. We have cannons, for goodness sake. Alright, listen, Castile. You still won't do it? I hate you. I absolutely hate you, Castile, for making me do this. Alright. In we go, then. Wait, why do I have... Never mind. I was gonna say, why do I have cannons in this stack? Alright. Well, Castile, you brought this on yourself. Always remember that. Okay, we're just gonna sit here, and we're, once we have their capital, that, that's gotta be, like, the breaking point. Surely. Surely. That'll be enough. I might take Connecticut from them, depending on when things 
work out. I'm gonna slip over here just to save myself a little bit of trouble. Um, yeah. Come on. How, how is Aragon doing anyway? Attacker? Oh, oh, I thought they were attacking Castile. No, oh, they're they're trying to take stuff um, from the Pope Man. That's that's usually a dangerous game. I'll be honest. I'm also mildly surprised. Conquer Omaha, huh? Where's Omaha? Omaha. Oh, well, yeah, we're gonna do that eventually, probably. Uh, what is it? Ooh, global settler increase. You know what? That's worth the extra fifteen percent. I'll do it. Probably not the best use of my funds, but it wasn't the worst. So, you know what? Screw it. Why not? Oh, we've taken more land. That's always a good sign. I noticed Portugal's army that's been sitting over here has not come to attack me, which I'm actually very happy about, to be honest. A little scared that they're not coming to attack me, because you'd figure they would. But, oh well. This is life. And hat- oh crap. Yeah, they're gonna be- they're gonna be coming for me, so... A little scared about that, but you know what I can do to make sure they can't kill my army is do 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 do. I can come over here like this and just uh, sit here, which should block the straight. Good enough. Now, granted, it means I'm effective. What, what's this? Polonia, ungrateful natives. National. Oh, right, the nationalism CB. Wait, why do we have nationalism against France? did say against France, right? One second here. Why do we have nationalism? No, we have imperialism. I thought it said nationalism against France. Does France own land? Oh yeah, because France owns land in Iberia, and since we're part of the Iberian culture group here. Yeah, we can take any of this stuff in Aragon. I love this. Look at that. 50% cost, 50% aggressive expansion. It's beautiful. All right. As soon as we get this, everything's going to be fine, probably. More population. You know, I should have let... What the heck? What is it with the, all these British pirates? I mean, don't get me wrong. It's kind of what Britain, uh, Britain was known for in this time period, more or less. But... It's 1685? My goodness. Oh, no, 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 Castile. You brought this upon yourself. Never forget that. Internal conflicts in Ethiopia. Uh, Ethiopia. Uh, no, we'll wait on the military thing because there's no benefit to us by getting there ahead of time. Go away, Portugal. I think I broke Portugal because they're not doing anything. They're just sitting there, moping. All right, hurry up, please. Trading in slaves. So we're apparently the global leader in the slave trade. That's uh, that's good, I guess. And Connecticut is back in Florida hands. Dang it. Come on, hurry up and take Toledo, please. Okay, what's this? Lose a bunch of ducats, gain some piety, why not? Okay, good. Now Castile should be willing. We have their frickin' capital. They damn well better be willing to give me whatever the heck I desire. You know what? I'm gonna take all your African holdings. I really want to do that though. Is that part of the trading company? Um, trading company, trading company, colonial regions, development, overseas. Um, let's see here, trading company. That's actually not in the trade company zone, so I actually don't care about this land. This is all in the trade company zone, so I do care about that. Okay. So, we don't want any of that. Oh. Hey, how much can I get? They're willing to give me at least 45 or 55 worth of... Actually, do I really want to take this in this war? The answer... I feel like the answer might be no, to be honest. We could actually get a lot more... Oh, why, why can't I take this? But occupying any forts. Connecticut, Connecticut has a fort? I did not know that. Apparently it does. All right. Uh, do I want to take any of this land? I could. Uh, 
Pretty sweet. How much overextension? Seven. Oh, wait, that's aggressive expansion. Only 18 overextension. Okay. So I can actually take quite a bit from Castile in this war. So you know what? I'm going to do it. Screw you, Castile. Suck it. All right. Bada bing, bada boom. Bada boom, bada bing. Uh, let's adjust this to cost. Probably want to hit the stuff that gives me overextension. And then core everything else. Beautiful. I'm pleased with this development. Pretty sweet. Not going to be teching up for a while. Um, maybe I don't want to burn all of my... Alright. So we want to convert all of this. Assuming we're not... Okay, you know what, never mind. Good enough. Alright, classic move. We're going to want to convert everything and then trade company it. I actually don't think that's really necessary, but I like doing that as a matter of principle. Alright, when this guy comes back, we'll peace out Portugal, because it's just Portugal now, and basically Portugal can't say no to me. Uh, where, where did I send my navy? Navy. You know what, I'm just gonna... Yeah. I, I just want my manpower back at this point, so we'll have to deal with it like that. Um... Yeah, come on over here, please. Let's, uh, land our troops. Actually, what I could do is just bring everyone in here, siege that, and then... Yeah, you know what? That, that works out for me as well. What's this? We have gained colonialism against Castile. Beautiful. The other reason for doing this is I've effectively blocked them off from the ocean, which means if, for whatever reason, we actually see rebels pop up here, which apparently is not going to happen... It would be nice if it did. Uh, then, uh, Castile wouldn't be able to do jack and or shit to get them back. Also, how is this helping us? Pretty decently, actually. I mean, we want all this... We want all the coastline, effectively. We're also getting a call for peace, so we're gonna want to peace out when we can. We have time. Wow, I burned all my Diplo power. Well, that's not good. That means it actually might take us a little while to get any kind of, uh... I have to wait a while before I can actually peace out here. Uh, let's make sure we're getting all the claims then, in the meanwhile. Claims are very important. Um, yeah, core that up. It's gonna take a while. Did not realize this was gonna be a thing. That's my fault. That's my fault. I can't blame anyone but myself for this. All right, what can we get from Portugal, who we have destroyed most utterly? Let's see, sir. What can we have? Uh, first of all, we should probably get you to annul treaties with these guys. Hopefully they don't make those treaties again. And effectively, everything that belongs to me... Oh, that's my Molly. All right, so we don't want any broken borders here. We want all the coastline. Um, do I want to take the Horn of Africa while we're at it? Hey, apparently I can. They're not going to say no. I take Bermuda. I can. Uh, do I want to take this? I can't. It's too. It's a bit too much. And a hundred ducats for all the pain and suffering you caused? Oh dear. We're gonna be in... In the hole for, uh, Diplo points for a while. Beautiful. Alright, I'm satisfied. Where, where are my ships? There are my ships right there. We are actually burning up a lot of... There we go. Let's get onto the ships as quickly as we can. And then send them back down to Algarve. You guys, hurry up. There we are. Onto the ships. All right. Then we'll just kind of... No, we'll set our guys here. All right. Excellent. So while we're waiting, we will core everything. 
everything we can anyway as that's good cores are good and great how much control do we have over this node only 23 percent once once we actually well then again i could just plop everything into the trade company so i'm pretty sure once it's a trade company it actually doesn't matter if it's not the right religion I mean, I'm pretty sure that doesn't have an effect anymore, but I could be mistaken, so... Oh, we lost the effect of trading in slaves. That's unfortunate. Yeah, but in the next war, we're going to want to finish taking the rest of this. Ah, an important uh, estuary, which is good for trade. Ah, uh, the Niger estuary, uh, estuary as well. So actually, once we get the thing here, we'll have more. Merchant's Guild modifier has expired, which means it's time to pick this again so that we can speed up our colonizing efforts as much as possible. Remember, that is our goal at the end of the day. Yeah, we'll just sit here for a while. How many, uh, how many men are we trying to reinforce? You know what? There we go. Good enough. Uh, while I'm at it, might as well keep fabricating claims. Um, let's see. Ifada. There we are. Alright, so, that is that. Also, um, there is a... No I don't think we took an actual capital in this war, but where is the biggest development province that we have in all this that we took? The Cape. That's a boring name. You know what? We'll mix it up. One of these suggestions and oh dear. I wasn't looking at my timer. In fact, my timer wasn't even facing the screen. There, Cape 7-Eleven. Mixing a suggestion for a name with what, yeah, there we go, that's exciting. Cape 7-Eleven. It's where we form the first 7-Eleven store. Beautiful. I like it. We also control most of the trade here, so actually once we convert all the people here and make it a trade company, we should get a merchant right away, which is good. But, that's gonna do it for this episode. Uh, sorry once again for making things run a little bit long. Hopefully, in the next few episodes, I'll get things back to a more reasonable time frame. Uh, but in the meantime, thank you as always for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you all in the next video.